This is a two-in-one tutorial, guys. Firstly, I'm gonna show you the different ways to add a video to your product page and the pros and cons of each way. But also there's a slightly more advanced lesson in here, and that is how to use meta fields to output code. And I imagine that this would be most useful for embed codes or just really short snippets of code. So the YouTube video is just an example, but you could use this for a Google Calendar, for maybe an embeddable contact form, for a map or anything that has a iframe that you copy and paste to embed on your store. And if you need that content to be different and unique for each product, that's when you would use a meta field. So we're gonna start with the standard ways of adding a video to your store, and then I'll move on to the more advanced way using a meta field to embed videos. The first and most basic way of adding a video to your product page in Shopify is by adding it into the product media here. Your video just becomes one of the product media. It's mixed in together with the images. And one downside of this is that it may not be very obvious. If it's an important video, people might not click on it. The other thing is that it depends on your theme, of course, how good this looks. As thumbnails here, it looks okay. But for example, on the older Dawn, we didn't have thumbnails. We only had this stacked layout and that doesn't really look very good but it does look okay as thumbnails. So if you want to do this method, then you have two options here. You can add from URL and just paste a YouTube link in here, or you can drag a video into here just as you would with images from your computer. It has to be a .mp4 or a .mov video. It has to be under one gigabyte in size and it has to be under 10 minutes long. The second basic method is to embed a video right into your product description. So when you click on this insert video button, you can paste your embed snippet into this box. So we're just going to click share on YouTube, embed and copy all of this embed code and then paste it in there. But this is what it looks like on the actual front end of your store. Now, there used to be a lot of problems with this and there may still be depending on your theme you will notice that as I resize this browser, my video is being cut off. So it's not a responsive video. It doesn't resize according to the size of the container. And this can be especially problematic on mobile where a video that is too wide and is not responsive can stretch out your entire website and cause this white space to the right. Or if your mobile actually focuses on this part, then you will notice that there's like a horizontal scroll that you don't want. Luckily, this issue is pretty easy to fix. I've already made a video on this, which I will link in the corner of this video. But just to show you quickly, we're just going to add some CSS here. You can grab this code from that other video or from my blog post on responsive video embeds. And we're just going to add a class here inside the iframe, save that, and that should have fixed our issue. So as you can see now, when I resize, the video actually resizes according to the size of its container and it's fixed on mobile as well. But I actually don't like the product description method. I don't think it looks very professional and it's not very flexible. You can't move it around on other parts of the page, can you? I would prefer to have the video in its own block, a block that I can position anywhere I want and Maybe not even in a block, but in an entirely different section. So that's what we're going to talk about next. Okay, so finally we have my preferred method, which is adding a video inside of a custom liquid block. And I'm outputting it here using meta fields because we want a unique video on each product page, right? If you didn't want a unique video, it would be really easy. All you would do is grab the embed code from YouTube and then you would just put that in here and that would work. But first of all, you still need to do that responsive fix that I talked about earlier. But the other thing is that this video would be showing up on all your product pages, right? Or at least all the product pages that we're using this default product template. And you probably don't want to make a different template for every single product just because you're showing a different video here. What you need to do is use meta fields because that will allow you to add a unique video for each product. That's also the problem with adding a full width section. There's already a video section in Dawn theme and you might have one in your theme, but 
this doesn't let you add a unique video, does it? It asks for the video URL and you add a URL and then it shows up on all of your products. So I use custom liquid again here, we use a custom liquid section and we output the same meta field. And I also added just a little bit of extra code to make sure that it's the same width as the rest of the container here in Dawn theme, although this might vary on your theme, but I'll explain it a bit later. And by the way, if you're watching this video, not for embedding a YouTube video, but for another purpose, like a calendar, for example, this is the method that you would use. So here I'm using a meta field to output an embed code. So basically this will allow you to add a different Google Calendar for each product. So for this method, the first thing that we need to do is create a new meta field. If you're completely new to meta fields and you haven't used them before, they show up here under your product and they're basically extra fields that you can use to add information about your product. So here we have the default fields like title and description, right? And here we have meta fields that we defined ourselves. And to define them, we go through settings and then click on custom data. This used to be called meta fields, but now it's custom data. And we're gonna go on products. And here we're going to add a new definition. We're gonna define a new meta field. And I'm just gonna keep it simple and call it video. You can call it whatever you want. The namespace and key will automatically be generated, but this is basically like an ID that we use to output this in code later. It can also be whatever you want, but generally it's, you know, custom dot something. And it has to be, this dot means the, this is the namespace and this is the key, okay? So custom dot video, or you can call it product underscore video, whatever. And then I recommend um, just writing yourself a little note here, just so that later on, you know what this meta field is being used for. And so now you're gonna select the type. We wanna add code in here, but there is no code type, at least not yet in here. So we're gonna use the multi-line text, right? And this would be usually for a paragraph or something, but we're gonna put code in here. Don't worry about the validation. We don't need to uh, restrict ourselves to any kind of characters or length or anything like that. Save that. And now when we go back to our product page, you should see this new meta field come up. So I'm going to copy the embed code from my YouTube video and I'm gonna add it in here. Hit save. And now how do we output the embed code, right? Which is HTML onto the page. Because normally when you use a Shopify meta field, you would output it using this insert dynamic source button, right? So you would click that and then you would find the meta field you just created, multi-line text, right? And then we can output that there. Is that gonna work? No, it's gonna output the actual code itself as though it's text. So what we're gonna do is use a custom liquid block. And here we simply need to access that meta field. It's really easy. All you do is type these double curly braces, that's for liquid code. And then we type product dot meta fields dot the namespace dot the key, which is video, and then dot value. And that should be it. There's our video. That's all we need to do to output that meta field. Now remember, depending on your theme, this might be cut off. So we need to apply that responsive video fix that I've mentioned a couple of times already. So all we're gonna do is copy that code from the blog post, and then we're gonna go back in here. And because this is HTML, right? It's not a CSS file. So whenever we use CSS, we need to put it in between style tags, HTML style tags like this, opening style, closing style, right? And then you can paste CSS in here, right? And it'll know that this is CSS. So we've added that CSS. And then finally, we're just going to add that class responsive video to the iframe. So every time you add a video to a new product, you copy the iframe from YouTube. And then all you do is add a class of responsive video to make that responsive because this code is going to affect it as long as it has the correct class. So let's save, refresh and see how that works. And as you can see, that video has been fixed. There's one last bit of cleanup that we need to do and that is for products that don't have a video, right? So this shouldn't output anything at all for products that don't have a video. And let's just double check. It isn't outputting anything, but just in case, we actually want to use an if statement to check that there is in fact a video 
And if there is not, just not output anything, okay? And it's really easy to do. Uh, curly brace, percentage sign. This is how we do logic in Liquid. And we're gonna write if, and then we're just gonna check for this meta field value. So you can copy this, paste it here. And then at the end of everything, we're gonna write end if, okay? And that basically protects other products from outputting anything at all if they don't have this meta field. And then that also means that you can, for example, add like a heading with like video or something like that. So now you can do this and thanks to this if statement, it won't show up on other products that don't have a video. So now let's talk about adding a video as a section uh, and we're gonna use the custom liquid section. So you can actually copy this code if you've been following along. It's gonna be almost exactly the same code with the style as well for the responsive video. Add a section, it's gonna be custom liquid. And I'm gonna paste that in. And there we see our video. Now you'll notice it looks a bit weird. It's going all the way up to the edges of the screen, right? Let me reposition this so that it's more obvious. And as you can see, the problem is that there is no container. All of this stuff, the rest of our site is contained within some kind of wrapper, right? That, that's like a common thing that you do in web design, web development. You have a wrapper, a container. And if you're using Dawn or if you're using any of the free Shopify themes, like Crave, Sense, Taste, Refresh, and a few other ones, then I'll save you some time. I'll just tell you what class you need to use here. Open a new div with a class, and here's gonna be the closing div. So we're just wrapping this meta field in a div, right? And this class is going to be page-width. That is the class that is used on Dawn theme and on all the free themes to create this container, right? So as you can see, it lines up perfectly and that's all you need to do. The rest of this video is going to be for people using a different theme, so you can probably stop watching here. But before closing this window, please leave a like. Now, if you are using a different theme, then you're going to have to do some inspection of your website to understand how the container is made. So we're going to right click and click inspect anywhere on your page. That is if you're using Chrome, I'm assuming you are and uh, you're trying to get to the uppermost kind of container of a section, right? So here is each section, and we can see that it's going to the edges of the page, right? It's all blue. And then when we go one below that to the next div, we see that that's actually where the container is applied. And we see this padding, right? We're looking for padding on the sides. So that's this here. And we can see that the class is page width. And also just looking at the classes on the element, uh, you can usually understand which class does kind of the container. Here it's called page width. In other themes, it might be simply called container or wrapper. It's usually a very logical naming. So that's why I'm suggesting that you have a look and see what they're using. And then you can do the same thing that I just explained. You just add a div with a class, with that class, right? around this meta field. In the worst case scenario, if you don't find any class that you can use, then you can just add a style attribute like this. And inside the style attribute, we can use CSS to add some padding. So you're gonna write padding like this. Zero is gonna be the top and bottom padding. And then the side padding will be the next number. So let's say something like 60 pixels, okay? And as you can see, that adds some padding on the sides. You can also use percentages. So if we do something like 5% padding, it's going to look like that. And coincidentally, Dawn is using 5 rem, which I won't get into right now, but it looks the same as 5% right now. And as I just realized, your theme might be using a max width for the larger screen sizes, like on desktop. So you might also want to add a max width like so, 1200 pixels, but experiment what matches your theme best. And then you'll also want to center that. So use margin zero space auto, like so. And you'll see there's no difference at this screen size, but when we go full screen, it also stays in line. Uh, whereas previously with just the padding, 
we had this issue here. I think that's it for today, guys. I am thinking of doing more CSS tutorials, especially since in the latest update of Shopify, we have these custom CSS areas. You can use CSS to style a section and you also have custom CSS that you can add for the entire theme. So I think it's time for store owners to start maybe learning CSS. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do full length CSS tutorials. These will be like half an hour videos something like that. But until then, good luck and goodbye.